Welcome back, it's Nine, and today we have a pretty big video. We are talking about the delay of Halo Infinite and what kind of impact this is going to have on the start of next generation. Now, before we get into that, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos, and hit the like button. It helps the channel a ton. Now, let's get straight into it, and I found this on Halo's Twitter. And it says, today I want to share an important Halo Infinite development update with the community. We have made the difficult decision to shift our release to 2021 to ensure the team has adequate time to deliver a Halo game experience that meets our vision. The decision to shift our release is the result of multiple factors that have contributed to development challenges, including the ongoing related impacts affecting us all this year. I want to acknowledge the hard work from our team as 343 Industries who have remained committed to making a great game and finding solutions to development challenges. However, it is not sustainable for the well-being of our team or the overall success of the game to ship it this holiday. We know this will be disappointing to many of you and we all share in this that sentiment. The passion and the support the community has shown over the years has been incredible and inspiring. We wanted nothing more than to play our game with the community this holiday. The extra time will let us finish the critical work necessary to deliver the most ambitious Halo game ever at the quality we know our fans expect. Thank you for the support and understanding, Chris Lee Studio Head Halo Infinite. So, it's official. Halo is delayed. Now here's the thing, we were talking about this previous videos, discussing just how much of a disappointment Halo Infinite was, graphically, performance wise, it, it just didn't line up with the AAA studio, something that is a flagship game for Xbox, it just was not acceptable, and we saw all the complaints on Glassdoor, we were, like there was so many people talking about how the environment was not good in terms of working conditions, and then obviously assessments on the performance of the game were very, very uh, abysmal to put it kindly, and it's just, it doesn't surprise me, and this just kind of reiterates that, you know, or reassures that those were actually truths. People were speaking truths when saying the conditions at 343 Industries are not good. And it shows in the demo, but it also shows in the fact that they've delayed it. And, you know, all those people defending it and talking about, oh, well, you know, uh, we get different builds every couple weeks or whatever it may be, and this is an old build. No, clearly that's not what it was. Clearly uh, Halo Infinite was not where it should be. And the reaction from fans and people who are just in the game's community was not good so they realized that hey we need to go back to the drawing board and fix up whatever is wrong with this game and i don't know if a year will do it for them i feel like there's a lot of work to be done and i genuinely hope that they can fix it but this is just another misstep for 343 this is crazy to me that we have halo 4 was probably <laughs> in terms of launching on time and uh not having uh, like a huge amount of issues was their only game that was in that case halo 5 the campaign was a mess and then you also have now halo infinite which is probably in shambles in the worst case out of all the halo games and this is a huge a huge hit to xbox this is not small guys halo is bar none xbox's biggest game there is no game that xbox has that is bigger than halo and i challenge anybody to prove me wrong on that you can look at sales you can look at anything halo is their biggest ip and that's a fact there's no two ways around it and for the just the fact of the matter that Halo Infinite is not going to be launching day and date with the Xbox Series X and they were hyping it up and the first showing we got was what it was. Man, this is damage. This is a lot of damage to an IP and to a brand that I don't know if they can come back from. If they do come back from it, it's going to take a lot. It's going to take a very impressive showing. It's going to take, like, I mean, it's going to need to be a whole 180 turnaround. There is no way... There is absolutely no way that they can get away with another demo like that. They, they just can't. And unfortunately, it is what it is, right? I mean, that's the reality of the situation. And I want to go more into just how this impacts the rest of Xbox's launch. Like, this is this is a big deal. This is a huge deal. I, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I'm telling you, this is, this is a big shot. This is a big hit to Xbox. And... I know fans are going to be very upset about this, and I know a lot of people might come at me because, you know, I'm hating, as they say, which I'm not hating because I do enjoy Halo myself, and it's just, it's it's so, it's, it's a good thing they're delaying it, but at the same time, man, they should never have promised the, the release date. They should have never shown what they've shown. 
And there's a lot of work to be done. There's a lot of changes that need to be made with 343 Industries. I just, I personally don't have a lot of faith in their ability to create a good Halo game at this point. Unfortunately, that's my honest opinion on the matter. I don't think that they have what it takes to create a great Halo game. And it shows, you know, when we look at Halo 4, 5, now 6 or Infinite, and just it just gets worse really and that's the disappointing thing and obviously i haven't played this game yet to really give my opinion on it but it really it it's a terrible thing it really is it's a terrible thing and this is kind of a gonna be a really rocky start to next generation for xbox you know you can come in a hundred dollars cheaper you can have a series s you can have whatever you want but when your major ip does not show up and that's kind of the driving factor, the hype, right? Is this new IP? I don't know. I just don't know that uh, Xbox is going to do well at the launch of next gen. I just don't think it. I know a lot of people might say, oh, well, this game was on, you know, uh, Xbox One as well. So does it even matter? Of course it matters. Of course it matters. They were bragging about their 120 frames per second. They were bragging about their 4K resolutions. So yeah, it, it does matter, especially if people were looking at that, you know, premium experience on the Series X. But this is just, this is disappointing, to be honest. It's really disappointing. This is definitely going to turn the tide, even more so onto PlayStation side. Like, this is going to be in PlayStation's favor heavily, really heavily, because, like, I don't, I don't, what is the desire of a next-gen Xbox at this point? What do we see that the Series X can offer that, the PlayStation 5 can't do, right? Are we gonna go for a Series X because of that little extra performance in the GPU? I don't know. I don't think a lot of people are going to uh, go for that. I just don't think so. And I think without Halo Infinite at launch, not even within 2020, we're talking 2021, and this could be damn near end of 2021. I don't think that Halo Infinite is dropping anytime soon. I think we're going to see it reach the end of 2021. And it's gonna have a lot of hype to deliver on because it's going to be a long time until we see it again uh, based on what i'm reading here i think they really realized they messed up and i think that this is it this is it really it is it's that's it that's kind of a wrap for the next gen xbox this hurt them big time and nobody can refute this like i said this is one of their launch titles. This is one of their, their games that's going to showcase the Xbox Series X, even though we haven't even seen any games run on the Series X at all. Not even one, which is disappointing. I don't understand what they're doing in that regards. But I'm going to pass this on to you guys and ask you, what do you think this all means for Xbox and the brand? And what do you think this means for Halo Infinite and 343? Let me know in the comments. As always, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos. Hit the like button. Follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the description. Share this video with a friend, and I will talk to you all on the next one. Take care.